First item then is the reconsideration of the board decision for Scott Poland noted on Exhibit A. You know, pardon me, but are any of the people that you met with on your letter, are they going to be here? No, they cannot. They work. They're my neighbors. And I, I tried to see if they can take time off, but not able to. None of those people are here today. Um, can you explain whether or not you attempted to obtain Oh, I did case? attempt, and I attempted to have a, a signed <clears throat> affidavit, but the person that I had lined up to follow me around to the five individuals it, at times that are convenient to the people that live in my neighborhood, um, she had a medical emergency, her husband's sick and in the Cleveland Clinic, so I felt it more important. She spent time with them, and after reading the rules from the, the book from the state of Ohio, RC 3501.382 states that must be signed in cursive and in ink unless they use another form of writing. So I feel I didn't need to have an affidavit signed at that point because it's a petition to run, and it's in the book from the state, in two different books, and I stated that. Um, and just for the record, I admire your desire to <coughs> help us be a, candidate, be a candidate, but we have to put the same rules to everybody. Absolutely. And, and um, when the petition is defective, we give a candidate such as yourself the opportunity to fix it. And you've had that opportunity, but, but we don't have affidavits from these individuals here. And we're not casting any aspersions on your integrity to contend that's not really who did this, but we will apply the same rule to anybody else who's standing here. And so that's the dilemma that we've got. We admire what you're trying to do, but... Um, well, I, I uh, totally but, understand. But, but, but you have to follow the same rules as everybody else, and you have it. The petition's still defective. That's and the what's the law state on 3501.382? That, that does not apply here. How can that not apply? That comes from the handbook from the state of Ohio on signing uh, petitions. You have the opportunity, when, after we make our ruling today, to appeal this decision if you want to, you can take it to common pleas court and contest our decision. It's not really a dilemma. It's, it's, it's we're disappointed that you're you're not that you didn't follow the rules and get a valid petitions in here or to support what your argument is when you had the opportunity. It's not really a dilemma for me. Uh, it's a, just a bit of a disappointment, uh, Mr. Chairman. I would move that um, uh, the original board decision with respect to the candidacy of Scott Poland be affirmed. Uh, for the reason that there has not been sufficient evidence submitted to us or in the appropriate form uh, to validate the signatures in question. Second. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, that motion carries. My thoughts are I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. They, they kind of pitch and toe people into abiding by their rules that they make up. And if you clearly read the law, it states that if they use another handwriting in their day-to-day -day life, then that is sufficient to sign a petition to run for an elected office in Ohio. Why didn't you get another notary when the first notary fell through? I didn't have it notarized the first time around. I, I, signed, I had people sign a petition. If they wanted a printed signature and a signed signature, then the state should have that on their form that they hand out for people to fill out for a petition. So, so We're worried about Russia, and here they're, they're stopping me from running for office because four people, five, five of my neighbors in my ward that have been here for 20 years living in their houses aren't deemed who they are. Why, if the first notary fell through because of a medical emergency, why not get another notary? Because I read the law, RC 3501.382 states, unless they use another form of handwriting in their day-to-day -day life and business. I, I got the law on my side. Are you going to? Why would I have to have something notarized to say that that's who they are, when the, the guidelines handed out from the state in two separate publications that I've downloaded from the state? But they say that code section doesn't apply to this situation. I guess we'll have to figure that one out now, won't we? Are you going to file an appeal to Stark County Common Police Court? I am going to file an appeal because I'm not going to wait another two years to sit by and see the same thing happen for another two years in Canton. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. My neighbors feel the same way. A lot of people in Canton feel the same way, but it's just the same old, same old in Canton. Are you uh, going to hire an attorney for that appeal? 
I will represent myself in the Court of Appeals on that one.